Hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to give you a brief introduction to the Agisoft Metashape uh, interface um, so that you are become comfortable with it before starting um, your, building your 3D models. So first we have a couple of toolbars. Um, everything in on this row can also be found in the main toolbar at the top. Um, and you have your workspace on the left here and then your model view in the center. And you can also turn on a couple um, more toolbars um, such as the jobs toolbar where you can see everything that's happening. Um, and yeah, so um, in the workspace toolbar, everything will be um, organized into individual chunks. So for this chunk, I have all of my cameras and you can see all of them that have aligned or not aligned. And for the photos, you can also open them up. You can see them in both toolbars um, and you can remove them if you need. And you can also see the information um, that each photo has. Um, so all of the camera settings that you took the photo with. And once your model is created, you'll also see all of the components that goes into it, such as the um, point clouds and the mesh. Um, so you have all the information from it here. And so if you turn off the photo here, you can go to your model. And to move the model around, if you click the um, left mouse button, you can rotate it in any direction. Um, the center mouse button and the right mouse button both move the model around. So it's good to get a, um, acquainted with these uh, movements before you start working on building your model. So you can also save your model, open a new one. Um, you can change your selection tools. Um, so right now I'm on a rectangle selection, um, which just creates this. Um, you can do a freeform selection and to turn it off, you just click it again and go back to your mouse. Um, you can also change the um, surrounding box by going to here, you can move the region, resize it, rotate it, and reset it. So if I wanted to resize it, I click that and drag it inwards. And if I want to uh, rotate it so that it's more aligned, the object. So you can also zoom in and out, um, reset the model, and you can turn on um, the viewing options for each um, stage of the workflow. So if I want to see the point cloud, I would click that. And the dense point cloud, um, the mesh is here. You, you have different options for viewing that. Um, you can see a shaded mesh with some of the texture information, um, solid mesh, and the wireframe. And then you can also view your textured model. Yes. And the last thing I want to show you is when you are first starting your workflow and you have your sparse point cloud created, you can also see the cameras that make up the point cloud. So you can see um, exactly the image sequence that you created. Um, and if you go into your camera, you can, if you just click on the different images, you can see which ones appear in the sequence. And in this, view I can see the individual photos but I don't have to do that turn off the thumbnails
All right, so that's um, basic options for the interface. Um, of course, there are many more um, features um, for more advanced settings, but um, these were these will be the basic things that you'll need for creating your first 3D model.